The one nice thing about the spider den is that, I'm just kidding, there's nothing nice about it. Uh, the audio won't be as good down here, but that's okay. I'm just, I don't want to get completely inundated with, with spiders, of course. I mean, it's the inevitable conclusion of what I am doing, but, ugh, they're all over. Ah, uh, they're raining down on me now. Can you see them? Ugh. Hopefully you can see that, but they are kind of everywhere. Ugh. I think I'm going to get out of this pit. See them coming up on the walls? Oh, boy. Let's see what I can do. That's me. Yeah. It's a wonderful nest of spiders here. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Ophiliads are not spiders. They are arachnids, however. Um, they're dancing around because they're scared. Not because they're going to do anything. But you know... It's not my fave. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be like a fun tube cave, but there's got to be an entrance for it. The world is a cave, you got to find an entrance. Now, the world is not lava tubes like these, so that's kind of unfair. Yeah, it's not going to be this end. We'll go take a peek at what he's looking at. But this, this could be really neat. I'm going to try to get in up there. Oh, there's no way in there. Warning, the actions and stunts performed in this video were done so by professionals. Do not enter a cave without a cave tour guide. We're trying to get in. This goes down the hill. We think we can get in here, and I don't have a lot of options, so we're going to maybe try to break something open. We're just testing. That's delicious. Okay, I think I can loosen this by breaking it. Often, there are caves under the earth which have no entrance. However, they sometimes run very shallow near the earth's surface. It is at these places that surface bumps will often appear and can be seen from above. These are good locations to try to dig open a cave entrance. Ah, rolling down the hill. This basalt is really hard on the hands too, so I'll be bleeding. That does move it. Ah, we don't have it free yet though. This is a good sharp edge. I'm gonna use it to sort of chisel through here. Maybe this side. Yep. Yeah. It's certainly easier than being in a cave. Yeah, it's just bouncing. Try to lift that piece off. I'm just trying to get enough of a crack there to, to uh, break. This lava is like four feet thick, so it's never easy. See if I can get it loose. I can uh, get a wedge in there. Yeah, that's going to be the one. Okay, one out. Ah, cool. Oh, we're we're going to get in, dude. Oh yeah. Cave dig. We can get in there. Let me just make it a little easier. So I'm going to go in this uh, like sit down style. It's quite muddy. Who knows what I'm putting my feet into? But I know I'm first in here because. Hey, Brantley and Waylon, welcome to the dark frontier. <sighs> Just going in there with a bear. Yep. Oh, oh, there's already spiders in the entrance. That's perfect. I probably brought them with me in this corridor. Oh, seems to drop down the hill. As I come in here, it seems to go straight that way down the hill, which you can see from above, above the ground. We can watch the bubbles. Sometimes you can see where these, uh, these caves like to go. It's actually Warmer in the cave than it is outside. So Jacob's out there freezing, waiting for me for safety. It's warmer in here. 
It's got a little bit of thermal heating, so it's like 50 degrees, maybe 45. Oh. Outside, it's like 35. It, it stays pretty low and it dives really steep, obviously. Yeah. So I can't turn around. I've got to back in. That is the passage, though. It is the passage. That is. Yeah, that's it. There's no other way. It gets really low. I can totally go down here, but I know how far it goes. That's the deal, Jacob. We know exactly where it goes and what it does. But the spiders are wintering over in here, and uh, it's there are several of them. So I'm just gonna go slow. I'm still de debating whether I want to cram myself down there. I can find an emotional support hole. Ah! Freaking ceiling moving, man. My, the main thing I do when I get in a nest of uh, harvestmen is I uh, I tuck in my clothes. That's about it. Oh, this is not what I want. Hey, Jacob. I can feel them tickling my back. Ah. Clothes bunch up and then they fall on my back. I'm backing underneath this knuckle. And this is very low for me, but I know I can do it. Going out will be easier because I don't have to back up the whole way like I do right now. There are times when a caver may choose to back through a passage. This is done generally for more safety. However, there are times that backing through a passage will cause the caver's clothes to begin to bunch up as the passage narrows or becomes too tight, or the edges of the passage pull on their clothes. This can be constricting and uncomfortable, but with perseverance, a caver can succeed in backing up this way. Okay. <sighs> Okay, a little bit of a sense of wanting to hurry. And you may not know this, but uh, you can't get in a hurry because the cave decides your timeline. And that's how it is. Okay, I'm, I'm down at the flat area. I don't know how far it goes. I guess a ways. Oh, it opens up a bit at least. I, I, I found where the spiders live. Yeah. This is nice. There are several. When the spiders feel threatened, they let off a smell. And uh, it is significant. I'm gonna show you the, the wall in a second. Yeah, the amount of spiders in here is significant, and I hope you can see that a little bit uh, without judging anyone's fear. The audio won't be as good down here, but okay. I'm just, I don't want to get completely inundated with, with spiders, of course. I mean, it's the inevitable conclusion of what I am doing, but uh, they're all over. <laughs> uh, they're raining down on me now. Can you see them? Uh! Hopefully you can see that, but they are kind of everywhere. Oh, I think I'm going to get out of this pit. See them coming up on the walls? Oh boy. Let's see what I can do. Uh, this is a very tight spot and I'm, I just, I'm not sure how well that can be seen, but uh, I'm going to try to uh, yeah, reflect off my glove and get through here with a certain amount of patience. Although limited dignity. <sighs> the rocks are sharper in this direction. So that means I'm gonna have a real significant problem <sighs> getting out of here. Just this one exact spot. I'm gonna set this here. Uh, that's my gl glove that provides a nice reflection there and try to pull my way through here. Now, the danger, there's no danger here, but it does require patience that you stick, I'm sticking my, this hand underneath my belly, propping myself up on my right elbow and just trying to move my, my skin and my shirt over the rocks. 
And then the other side, stick this hand under there and pick them apart. So below me is very jagged rock, which is uh, very rough, a very rough ceiling. And then on top of that, if you don't like them, the cave is full of bugs, but I'm starting to fatigue. Although at least I can see the entrance. Stick your head in, buddy. The entrance is jagged. We had to dig it open. Quite literally, we busted it open with our uh, a rock. This is Jacob. He's upside down. Yeah. Bar touching to my head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming up through here and uh, working, getting out of the cave. I, I think my clothes are pretty well ripped up because uh, it's very sharp, very rugged. We know no one's been in there because we could see the cave from the outside. Oh, I gotta do this, huh? We could see the cave from the outside, but we couldn't uh, access it, so we made our own access port. And this gets done sometimes, so this cave entrance is literally, Jacob spotted this is the entrance. So that was uh, this kind of cave. Oh, uh, ouch. Not too bad. We're done. We we found this cave. We now we found 500 feet of passage. By the way, down there it gets pretty low. It, it may or may not go on, but I it was. Should we hide the hole? Uh, let's use sticks and moss. Okay, so I'll, Jacob's going to show you a little trick we learned back at the old school. The entrance to the cave is recovered carefully and methodically. This is done as a protection against the harvestmen inside. While this is their home. Okay. The cavers are only visitors to the dark frontier. But really, why do we do it? For our own entertainment. That's right, no reason. That was exactly what I was looking for. Oh, yes. More moss? Not that anyone else is going to go in there, considering it is just chock full of spoders. <laughs> Dude, it was just worse as it went, and I couldn't really get good because the GoPro doesn't do that very well. Yeah. There's not a lot of gear solutions for caves because it's not done by enough people to warrant the manufacture of things. So if we're doing climbing, we use climbing gear. I've got a lot of uh, motorcycle gear on. Uh, the rest is equipment just designed for various other things. Uh, there isn't, there's very little, there's some, but there's very little just specific caving gear, so. There is some. Caving suits. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to my coffin here. <sighs> I've certainly made it easier entrances before. Just wanted to sign off in a respectable way. That last cave we got into, the other ones we think were first, and it's a cave system about 500 feet long, which may seem small, but we're, you know, just having a good time out here. Uh, and that last 100 feet, that 100 foot section full of spiders, we made that cave. We made the entrance. I'm not sure which trail is best to go home. This one. That's on you. 